Mm, hello everyone. This in uh, this video, I'm talking. I'm going to talk about the acceleration. Okay, it's also the part of the one D kinematics. And uh, once again, kinematics, kinematics describe is describe the motion of objects and discuss the relationship between the position, velocity, and acceleration. And now we are going to talk about acceleration. Okay, its definition is very similar to velocity. So let's look at it. And okay, acceleration is a rate of change of velocity. Okay, and like like velocity, also have average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration. The definition of Average acceleration is the um, the change uh, the change of velocity, okay, and divided by time interval. And the change of velocity, I would like to use another expression. I I think you all know about that. Um, okay. Okay, the change of velocity I like to write in this way: the final velocity minus initial velocity, and divided by divided by uh divided by time interval. <clears throat> and like the average velocity, the average acceleration, uh, we use the bar, the bar, the horizontal line over the a. The it's called bar. The bar. The bar means average, okay. The bar it means average, okay. So and the like instantaneous velocity, um, if we let the delta t approach to zero, make the delta t approach to zero, and we will have the instantaneous acceleration. So okay, also. It also relate. It's once again relate to the calculus. Okay, this is exactly the definition of the <laughs> definition of derivative. Okay, derivative, and for the instantaneous acceleration, we 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 don't have the bar. Okay, we don't have a bar. We just writing a, and there is no bar over the a, just like uh, instantaneous velocity. Okay, instantaneous velocity, we just use v. And without the bar, okay. Um, and uh, like uh, uh, so, we uh, last time we show you the dx over dt. Uh, during the derivative of x with respect to t, the physical meaning is the slope of xt diagram. And once again, if the definition of instantaneous velocity is the during derivative of V with respect to, with respect to t. So what is physical meaning? It means slope, uh, or oh, sorry, slope of of v t diagram diagram. And I think this video I'm going to show you um that let you know the slope of v t diagram. And the acceleration, the right hand side is a useful concept when you do the kinematics calculation. If acceleration and velocity have the same direction, is speed up. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, if the, the acceleration and velocity is opposite in opposite direction, the velocity will goes will goes down. Okay, and I think it's easy 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 it's easy to imagine this. Okay. And this concept um, is very useful when you do the calculation later. Okay, it's really useful. Okay, and help you. It help help you to to define something. Okay, we'll talk about this later. And the next slide, I think I was just like I said, I will show you the slope of VT diagram. Okay, I think. Okay, use this slide. Okay, here the left hand and the right hand side is a VT diagram. The upper hand is a VT diagram. VT diagram. Velocity is a function of time. It's called VT diagram. VT diagram. I sorry. VT diagram. VT diagram. 
And so, and uh, let's let, let's see. Let's draw some slope on the VT diagram because um, the slope or the VT diagram is the acceleration. Let us let us see. Let us show you the slope. The slope here, maybe you know, I can say it's this one, right? This one. And then at this point, the derivative is the tangent or slope. I think this one, okay. And then at this point, the tangent or slope is flat, okay. So you will see the slope and the vt slope. The slope decrease. The slope decrease. That means acceleration decrease. Okay, because it's a VT diagram, so a slope is slope is the acceleration. And then after this point, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, the slope here is here, and this point I think it's here, and this point I think is here. Okay, what happened on, on after after passing this point? What happened? You see the slope. Mm, the slope. I would say what happened after after this point. Mm. After this point, mm, it's very similar to the example. Up, oh, sorry, it's similar to. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. It's similar to example I raised before. Okay, the slope, the magnitude of slope increase. Magnitude, magnitude of slope increase. But, but it's getting more negative. It but it is getting more negative. It's getting more negative. I think it's getting more negative. Negative, negative. So the magnitude of slope increase. Okay, but it's getting more negative. That means the acceleration is becoming more negative, and the number is getting huge. But but it's on negative direction. So. So when you uh, join a slope, you you observe this, and then the 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 downside. This one is the just cor is corresponding to the acceleration of the this VT diagram. So before this point, just like we say, the slope decrease, acceleration decrease. Okay, this is like what we observe on slope. But after passing this point, is becoming more negative and more negative, and the acceleration number goes up. The numbers goes up and it getting more negative. That's also we can observe by drawing the by drawing the slope. Okay, so uh, this video. Okay, that's pretty much about this video. And then the next video, I'm going to show um the, some calculation of the of the acceleration. Ah, sorry, I should this this title should be acceleration only. Because we're talking about both acceleration, okay. So uh, next time, yeah, next time I'll show you the next video. Video I'll show you the calculation on instantaneous acceleration. Okay, so pretty pretty much about it. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye. I should stop here, here. Yep, yeah, yeah. Okay, see you next time. Bye 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 bye. -bye. Okay, should I make a small example? Hmm. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye bye.